This lovely thing here is the horn of a kudu, and this one's been hollowed out to make an instrument. In fact, it's actually a ritual instrument in Judaism known as a shofar. Now the design of this horn um, is what's known as an exponential horn, so it guides the sound waves and amplifies them. There's only one example of the exponential horn in nature, and that is the burrow of an insect called the mole cricket. It's called the mole cricket because it lives underground, and it's got the same adaptations as a mole, so you've got these little puddles here for digging. Now the adaptations on this thing make it look absolutely bizarre, it looks nothing like any other cricket. I mean we've got a locust here, and you can just see they look absolutely nothing like each other. And the mole cricket, much like any other cricket, makes its sound by a process known as stridulation, whereby it rubs its legs against the spines. It then digs a horn-shaped burrow to amplify the sound. The burrow allows the mole cricket produce a sound that's 80 to 90 decibels in volume, making it one of the loudest animals in the animal kingdom.